All right, all right. So this is my uh, Bulgarian hatchet. I recently did a video on, and in that review, I talked about how the handle to head hang was atrocious, and you could see it's actually developed. I don't know if you can see that, but it's got like a little wiggle in it right now, and that drives me batty. I can't stand that. So I was gonna rehandle it anyway, uh, back in the shop with tools and a, a new um, hickory handle. I might do another video on that. But I thought uh, while I had the head off, it would make a great video to rehandle this hatchet in the field using only my, <laughs> my Swiss Army knife uh, with all natural material. So the premise behind this video is um, you know, let's say you're backpacking for a week and on the second day you uh, break the handle of your hatchet out in the field and you want to put a new handle on it. So uh, we'll see how that goes. Honestly, I've rehandled a ton of um, hatchets and axes you know, in my shop, but this is going to be the first one um, out in the field. And I mean, you know, you always hear people with tomahawks saying, well, it's, you know, I got a tomahawk because I can rehandle it in the field. So Let's see if we can rehandle a hatchet in the field. Stay tuned. Yeah. Just take a roll. Everyone 
whole chemistry thing came out and resolved this way from my but I even have an order. I'm still trying to avoid that, but I might have to do that. That's how labor intensive. But I might find that other times. I can't get angry progress this way. Had to take a break for some coffee. Hope you can forgive me, YouTube. can't eat it. You want to eat it. Oh, oh, that's my tool. That's my tool. I'm using it.
Yeah, not much holding that thing in at this point. Just goes to show you though how sturdy these axe to handle connections are. I mean, even when they're unhealthy, man, that's a it's a tough bond. And I'm gonna go back to these tomahawk guys because I hear them saying all the time, oh yeah, when you break the head, I mean when you when you bust the handle on your hatchet, I can rehandle my tomahawk in the field, but you can't rehandle your hatchet in the field. I have never broken the handle of a hatchet in the field. Um, so I gotta, first of all, that scenario is pretty far-fetched, but um, we'll see how it goes. So far, definitely way more involved than uh, reheading a uh, tomahawk, but at this point, I just want to see if it's even doable. So here we go. Here we go. Woo! Right to the fire. So. We got the head off. Man. And almost rehandled it at the same time. There we have it. Moving on. All right, so here's the head. The next step is uh, we're gonna shave this piece of green Brazilian pepper tree down to size. It's gonna be a boring process, so I'll probably just turn the video off and get back to you. But um, we're using green wood because this is a temporary field repair. We just want something functional that's gonna get us through the rest of our trip. Um, and it's much easier to work with than, say, trying to whittle down a piece of oak. Um, so that's what we're going to do. And for you guys, you leave no trace, guys. Um, this is Brazilian pepper tree, so not a problem with cutting green Brazilian pepper tree. Uh, this stuff's an invasive species. Uh, they encourage you to get rid of it. Um, but we'll see how it does for this project. It's going to be boring watching me whittle this thing to size, so um, I'll cut off here and come back to you. Okay, so I got it whittled down uh, about the size there. So you could see that I, I've taken more off of uh, this side than this side. So I just had to be cognizant if I was finishing this handle out, you know, obviously I'd have to bring it down on, on this top side. Um, but since this is just a uh, field expedient repair, who cares, right? Um, and that I really, I didn't talk much about why uh, green wood might be a problem. So green wood um, will shrink when it dries. So uh, over time, this head to handle fit would get loose. So that's why uh, you would want a dried uh, hardwood handle um, for a permanent repair. But like I say, this is just a field expedient repair, so we don't care much. It's just gotta get us through the rest of this uh, backpacking trip. So uh, what I'm gonna do now is uh, take my Swiss Army knife saw and I'm gonna try to cut a, uh, a slit down the middle here so that um, when I fit the head on the handle, I can wedge it. So that's the next step in this project. Let's see how we do here. Start on the end here. Yeah, that's gonna work. Perfect. All 
And I just gotta be cognizant to uh, make sure I'm running my slit straight. But I got a good start on it here. Well, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna bore you with watching this, so I will, um, I'll cut out and come back when it's done. All right, we're back. So um, I went ahead and sawed that notch off camera. And um, I'm sorry that I turned the camera off because in the process of doing that, uh, of course, anytime you're cutting towards yourself, um, you're running a risk. And I naturally, I, I cut my finger with the saw. <laughs> and uh, I'm sorry I didn't get footage of me sawing my own thumb for you guys. That would have been awesome. You could actually see, uh, you could see a little bit of my blood right over there somewhere. Let's see, right there. So I bled a little bit. Anyway, so we got the notch cut in there. And um, so now the next step, I got actually got a little piece of fat wood here. Too bad I didn't make the whole handle out of fat wood. That would have been awesome. But I'm gonna use this fat wood here to uh, theoretically to create a wedge. Let's see if we can get that knocked out real quick. And there we go. Might want to go thinner. Yeah, so I saw this off the end of a uh, that would stick here. There we go. That's perfect. I guess a real challenge would have been to just create the new hatchet handle just using the hatchet head. That's the only tool I got, just the hatchet head. That would have been, that would have been awesome. I guess, uh, I always have my Swiss Army knife on me though, so it's kind of a realistic uh, equation doing it with just the Swiss Army knife. Yeah, that's what we're after. Just gotta sharpen this thing down into a wedge shape. Imagine that just using the head. How cool would that be? But that would definitely be uh, more time consuming. Just doing it with just the Swiss Army knife is time consuming. I mean, anytime you limit yourself on tools, uh, the more you do that, the more time consuming, the longer the job's gonna take. But Hey, we're having fun, right? I am definitely not going to stop filming um, this time around. I'm not going to cut out, so maybe you guys can catch me uh, <laughs> injuring myself some more. Anybody that knows me, though, they know that uh, if I don't have some kind of cuts or bruises or scrapes on me somewhere... It's an imposter. <laughs> Constantly in a state of repair. That's just uh, it's just how I roll. I don't know if I'm clumsy or, uh, I don't know, more active than other people. I don't know what the deal is, but... Constantly nicked up. So anyway, the theory, the mental theory behind the fatwood is that that wood has some sap in it, so I'm thinking uh, once I hammer it in there, I mean, as far as a long-term repair, it might be a little sticky, so it'll hold a little bit better than, say, a oak wedge or something like that. Probably speed this up a little bit. Okay. 
awkward hatchet. Okay, you can see where I'm running a little tight there. So this is kind of like a test fitting. Okay, let's try it again. There it is again. Right. Run a little tight right there. Clean that up. Everything's looking good. Hit it up here. All right, let's see. Very close. I think for the sake of brevity, we're gonna uh, we're gonna make a go of it here. Let's 
see if we can't get our wedge in. Already got a wedge split. Whatevs. There it is. That's a rock solid fit too. All right, now here's my metal wedge. I could hammer that in there just to seal the deal. But um, let's see how it does with just the wooden wedge. Yeah, I think it's starting to work its way out a little bit. Let's keep going. walnut yeah so it's worked its way out a little bit but if I had to guess due to the wedge shape there I would say that's about as far as it's going to come out
for the hell of it, I'll metal wedge it. Try to, anyway, we'll see how we do here. metal wedged. Let's try another round. Right. Very ambitious. <laughs> right. Yeah, I think I bit off more than I could chew with that piece. Over this piece I got here. That's holding. And in case you're wondering, yes, that is fatwood. This whole stump, like the whole center of it, is all fatwood. Yeah, she's holding. Um, all right, so back over to the stump. <clears throat> so, in conclusion, um, it is very possible to rehead a uh, hatchet in the field with just a Swiss Army knife because uh, we just did it. Um, my opinions about it overall, it probably took me about, uh, I don't know, two hours, hour and a half to do the job. Um, it's definitely field functional right now. Um, it's not pretty, but this would, I mean, I could clean it up a little bit, but for sure this would carry you through the remainder of a backpacking trip, see out of the woods. I mean, this thing might even last, uh, last for years the way it is now, but, um, nevertheless, hour and a half, two hours, um, got the job done. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you do, and you want to see more content like this, don't forget to uh, like and subscribe. So that wraps up the rehandle in the field of a uh, hatchet. You guys have a great day.